Okay guys, welcome to superioracademy.com. Today we're going to be working the Yellow Belt curriculum. The Yellow Belt curriculum is basically designed to get you started into a couple of different trapping techniques straight from your basic strikes. We're gonna get straight into, um, straight into our back fist lopsaw strike. Uh, basically the back fist, when you lift the elbow and you snap it out like this, back fist, back fist, we're gonna be using it to bait our opponent to throw their hands up. So I wanna get him to put his hands up so that I have something to get, um, to get contact with so that I can pull and strike afterwards. So you're gonna go back fist, lopsaw, vertical punch. Back fist, lopsaw punch. Back fist, lopsaw punch. Back fist, lopsaw punch. Basically, your back, after your back fist, you grab, not with your thumb, but like this, pull it into your body, like this, while punching. So back fist, lopsaw punch. Back fist, lopsaw punch. Back fist, lopsaw punch. And that one's pretty straightforward, okay? Make sure you snap it out, make sure you pull straight to your body with the lopsaw while turning, and punch simultaneously straight out, okay? For your next technique, using your 45 degree turn, which basically means you're gonna be stepping out 45 degrees, okay? Just straight out to the side. You're gonna be using your tonsil, which is right here, tonsil, and strike. Tonsil strike. Tonsil strike. Taunt. So while he punches, I'm going to go straight in tonsil strike. Tonsil strike. Okay? Tonsil strike. On the other side here, tonsil strike. Okay? Now, this isn't something that's very natural, so if I were to just be reaching out a little bit off, off um, from the puck, I use the opposite hand maybe accidentally. I go straight into my, um, my tonsil strike, and then another strike over the middle. So I go. Strike, strike. One, two. Tonsil strike, and then strike again. Okay? Those are your first two techniques. Okay? One involves the lop, one involves the ton. Make a note of that and make sure that you're practicing both of those properly. The third technique is your jab, cross, rear leg, roundhouse kick. After I get him to put his hands up with my jab, and then I drive him back with my cross to the body, I'm going to lift this rear leg and either do my roundhouse kick into the leg or into the body, or into the knee. When you do your rear leg roundhouse, you're gonna step to the outside with your toes, lift up the rear leg, chamber, and kick. Here, here, boom, put it back. So I'm gonna come flying in with my jab cross first, boom, boom, and then as I drill him back, that's where I hit my roundhouse kick. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, okay? I go straight back, boom, 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 okay? One, Two, rear leg roundhouse, bring it back. Okay. Real easy technique. You don't even really need a partner for that one, but you can have one. Now from the hook, we're gonna go triangle, forward elbow, forward elbow, okay? From the big hook punch, use your triangle technique, which is where you keep your elbows down, put your left hand out, put your right hand over the top of your left forearm, do not grab it, put your hand over like this. Good. So if you were to just throw your hands up anyway, you're going to do something a little smarter, which is the triangle. And as soon as you're finished with it, you're going to throw that rear elbow, then throw that lead elbow. Okay, let's move in a little bit. Triangle, elbow, elbow. Or triangle, use the lead elbow first, rear elbow. Here's what your elbows look like. Triangle, elbow strike, elbow strike. Turning the body, putting the hand to the opposite side cheek, turning the body. Triangle, elbow, elbow, okay? Pretty easy stuff. Now from the hook, we're going into the shoulder stop, grab knee, and then forward elbow strike. The shoulder stop is where I use my palm into the divot of the shoulder while checking with the other hand. I'm just pressing straight out. Shoulder stop. Shoulder stop. Shoulder stop, grab, use your knee, then your elbow, okay? One, two, three. One, two, three. Shoulder stop, knee, elbow. Okay, good. From the roundhouse kick, you're gonna move forward into the raised leg shield and then vertical punches. So when he throws his kick around the outside, I'm gonna use my knee forward for my raised leg shield to slam in and then rush with my vertical punches coming straight in. That's a really easy one. But you're just gonna lift, boom, and run in. And you're pushing forward with that lead leg Okay, pushing forward with the lead leg shin stop, you're running straight in. Okay, or the raised leg shield rather, okay? 
Super easy technique from the roundhouse kick. Now using your 45 degree turn, you're gonna use your pox out strike, lops out back fist. Okay, here's what the 45 means. You're gonna start in the connection. As I step slightly out to 45 degrees, facing him still, I'm gonna use my pox out strike. Boom. When he throws up his hand to deflect it, and he pushes me, I'm gonna lop sow that hand for my back fist, okay? So for a better angle, I'm gonna go here, pox out strike, lop sow back fist. Pox out strike, lop sow back fist. So I'm going pox out strike, then I'm gonna lop with the same hand that I pox out with. Same hand, lop sows, that did the pox out. One, two, one, two, one, two. Pox, lop. Good stuff. Now, one more. You're gonna go straight into your pox out strike, finger jab, lop out strike. So you go pox out strike, and I go around with my left to the eye, eye gouge, just not for kids. Then I lop out with that same hand for the punch. So I go pox strike, eye gouge, see how I zone out? Then I come back in for my lop out punch. Remember, pox out strike. Come around for the eye gouge with the same hand that you pox out with, and now the same hand Lops out. So the same hand goes pock, eye gouge, and lock. Okay? Boom, boom, boom. Don't forget that. One more technique from the double wrist grab, you're gonna be doing a switch grab. All you're gonna do is use your right hand, place it onto the forearm of his hand while snatching yours back. And now you can hit while he's still holding onto himself. Boom, ba, ba. One more time. Smash. Pull, punch. Smash, pull, punch. Smash, pull, punch. Smash, pull, punch. I hope you've enjoyed this very quick review of Yellow Belt. If you have any questions, please ask an instructor. Otherwise, we'll see you at Superior Academy.